Hard to believe the scene we've got here tonight in Provo, Utah, where BYU thinks this is one of the biggest home games in their program's history. The Cougars are ranked for the first time in almost a decade, number 23 BYU, at home against number two Gonzaga. Tilly, meanwhile, is trailing. He was down on the play on the defensive end. Corey Kispert knocks down the first bucket of the night. T.J. Hawes, another one of those BYU seniors. Efficiency, though, has not been good. I think both these teams need to settle down a little bit. Don't you think sometimes a game like this with all the emotions coming in? Petrushev, one dribble and offensive foul. Look at how quickly, though, all five guys. A very little offensive rebound opportunity. He drew another charge. <laughs> Two times in a row for T.J. Hawes. More good T.J. Hawes defense. One on one, there's nobody. Good cut by Hawes and a good pass. Hawes finds an open shooter, Harding three. And that one no good, but the tip in is good. High low, and that was T.J. Hawes to knock it away. It's the first half, Childs. Killian Tilly, who's got that range. <laughs> yeah, Phillips looking at him like, huh? Tulson crossover three. Look at the mismatch underneath. Yeah, Petrushev takes advantage with a foul. Yeah, they've been really strong at the defensive end, especially contesting the three-point shots. Childs, that one was contested. It goes down anyway. So they're playing with two of those four players with two fouls on the floor right now. Tulson three. Now on this end. Kind of fumbled the ball away. Mark Pope wanted a timeout. Nobody could hear him. So T.J. Hawes will shoot the two. To finish. Tilly off the glass. Kispert down low to Tilly, who does have low post move. Yeah, he's match on underneath. Yeah, he can't get the ball to Lee. He's trying to guard Colby Lee. Toulson for three, way outside. Well, well, think about this though. BYU right now is plus six points in the paint. On Lee for three. And now maybe an advantage for the Zags. Kispert three. That one's good. Woolridge two on one gives it up, and Gilder lays it in. Woolridge double teamed, scrambled for the ball, comes away with it. Celius rips it away from him. Just took it from him. Tulson three. Yes! Look at a big man, Tilly, lead the break. Gilder dumps what it off. Pass. Timmy! Just forget about him leaving Miami, coming back. And Gilder with the steal. And he'll go all the way to dunk it home. Timmy right over Child scores. But yeah. you can ill afford to have an empty possession like that. Child's nice catch and scores with a foul. Ayayi's going to go all the way, and he lays it in with a foul. Two, that one no good. Timmy offensive rebound with a foul. A sort of probing, got inside, and flips one up, no good. But Childs was there with the smaller man on him. And he Childs having any chance to get downhill. DJ Hawes for three, good. <laughs> Gilder got it rejected by Childs. To have what's going to happen here in about a minute, it's special. He's also going to get Dalton Nixon in the game, who's hurt, and let him get an ovation. So forget the rest of it. He's going to take another timeout here in a second as well. So Nixon, who's had such a good senior year, and he's got an ankle injury way off the mark, kind of like most of his night from the outside. Horn sounds, here we go. It's about BYU. It's about Mark Pope's team. First time in nine years ranked, and they just knocked off number two. A moment that those guys will never, ever forget.